Hi, I'm Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College Library. Today we're going to be doing a general search in the Global Issues Database for Gale. So the scenario for this is I'm a student in a history or a social science or an English class and I need to do an essay on something in current affairs and I'm not really sure what I want to write on because there are so many options. So what do I do? The first thing you do is go to the library homepage. To get there from the college homepage, you can mouse over student support and click on library or click on student support, scroll down to academics and find the library there. Now you could start here in OneSearch, but say you really are interested in articles and not everything under the sun. You can ask a librarian, you can chat with us 24 seven. If we are open, you will be talking to a Santa Monica College librarian. If it's at a time when the SMC library is closed, you'll talk to a college or university librarian that belongs to the consortium. Um, so you're always talking to a college librarian. And if they can't answer your question, they will leave a message for us and we will get back to you via email to help you out. But let's go to the search. So I want to go into the databases because I want to take a look at articles. When you go into the databases, we have 116 of them listed alphabetically by the title of the database with a short description of what's in them. If you don't know what database you want to use or even what topic really that you're looking for, this can be a little overwhelming. So you might want to start at all subjects. When you click on these subjects and you scroll through, you'll notice that they're broken down into various topics and one is current affairs and social issues. 24 of our 116 databases have something on this topic. So when I click on that, it will give you some of our live guides on various social issue guidelines. So that's one option. You can also take a look at some of the recommended databases on this topic and that might spur some ideas for topics. So as I'm looking through here, I might go, ooh, global issues. That might be really interesting. Let's take a look at that. This database supports global awareness and provides a global perspective while tying together various content that helps you critically analyze and understand the most important issues of the modern world with news, global viewpoints, reference materials, country information, primaries. Wow, this looks really good. So I click on that and it opens up the databases for me to begin looking. Now I don't really have a topic to search. I'm exploring right now. So I can take a look and see what the current areas of interest are for this database. As you see, there are many. I can also take a look and browse by category. So there might be something in business that I'm interested in or something in health and medicine, or again, something in society and culture or something in science that has to do with society and culture with a global perspective. So I'm going to go up and, and pick this one. This looks interesting. It's the last day of Pride Month in 2023. So I want to explore this topic, LGBTQ plus rights. The first thing that I notice is that it gives me an overview. Then on this page, it gives you various pieces of information. It could be peer reviewed journals or biographies of important people or news reports. It could be viewpoints, which are pro con arguments on particular topics, magazines, which is for the general public, statistics, videos, reference or directional, um, I'm sorry, reference materials, even some websites. It also allows you to search within these results. So if you're interested, for example, in trans rights, you might look for that. And then it will break that down and show you some of the top results for each of these various things. But if I'm exploring this topic, the first thing that I want to take a look at is the overview. What is this topic about? Maybe I want to write about it. Maybe I don't. Let's take a look. First, it will tell me about this particular topic. It will give me an in-depth explanation of what this topic covers in this database, including some of the main ideas within this article. And what this helps with is clarifying what you're interested in and how you might want to um, focus your, to your topic when you write. 
Then it gives you some background and some of the various important issues within this topic. And it gives you some questions to think about as you're reading through this, which again helps you clarify what you're interested in and what you want to further pursue in this topic. Then it allows you to um, get help with your citation, your MLA, APA, etc. Make sure when you use the citation from a database that when you put it in your paper, you fix it because sometimes the robot doesn't quite get it right. And you want to make sure that you follow the example given to you by your instructor. It will also give you other exam um, articles that are related to this topic. It will link you to specific parts of this overview and it will give you related subject headings. Now the difference between more like this or related articles and subject headings, if you like this article and you want other articles that talk about this information specifically, you can look at related articles. But if this is a beginning point and you wanna broaden it out and get more information on specific parts of this topic, then you can click on a related subject and it will search for anything in this database that has that subject term assigned to it. So it's a way to make your search broader while staying on topic. So for example, if I look for the gay rights movement, I find, again, journals, pro-con essays, reference information, news, etc. But as you see, many, many fewer of them because this is a subtopic underneath that broader topic. So if I decide that I want to start here, I can take a look through the academic journals, I can look at the viewpoints, I can take a look at reference information. I can also browse within these results for the most current information or historical information, for specific subject headings within it, for specific types of documents, articles versus photographs versus editorials versus interviews, etc. I can look for a specific title if there's one that I'm interested in, for example, the Washington Post, etc. I can also say if my instructor wants me to just use academic journals, I can limit it to just that. And if I want to explore a little further, so this is close to what I want, but not quite what I'm looking for, you can use a topic finder to find topics that are related to this topic and how they are related. So you have everything from um, human rights to civil rights to LGBTQ rights to specific rights to dates to community, to places within those rights. So if I decide, oh, this looks interesting, I'm going to click on that. It will break it down even further and give me other ideas for my topic that I can then really drill down on it. Okay. So that's one way to explore a topic in here. I can also go to an advanced search and say I'm looking for LGBTQIA plus and human rights. Now that I have an idea of what topic I want to search, I can do that. And again, it gives me some information. Once I find something that looks interesting, I can do a number of things with it. I can save it to my Google Drive, save it to my OneDrive, email it, download it, print it out. I can listen to it. I can change the display options. I can make the font size larger or smaller. I can translate it. I can find more information, related articles again, and related subjects. So if I decide that I want this, I can just email it to myself, change the subject line, and send it off. 
Then I can go back to my results. I can go back to my search and change my terms or filter it. Or I can go back to my topic finder, where I was, and see what I would like to change or explore further on my topic. So this is a wonderful way to get started um, when you're trying to look at topics with global significance and culture. If you have any questions at any time during your research, you can always ask a librarian. Good luck with your research.